What is natural language processing? Let's look at an example. What would your search engine return when asked the following question? Who is Panini? The linguist from 500 BC or a sandwich? Most of us would guess that it would be the linguist and not the sandwich because the question is asked with this pronoun who. The point is that all of us use technology extensively in our day-to-day -day life. For example, Google processes more than 4.5 billion queries every day. And the basic way to interact with technology is using language. For example, if you need some information, you formulate a search query in your language like English or French or Chinese or Vietnamese or Hindi or Korean. And you provide this query to a search engine. Now, if you want your search engine to understand your question and return a relevant answer, you need some model of language understanding. This process of understanding what humans are saying or writing is natural language processing. Now, it has been referred to with different names depending upon the focus of your study. For example, if the focus is on the engineering side, then it's called natural language processing. If the focus is more on language understanding side, then it's referred to as computational linguistics. You might also hear people referring to this field by human language technology or speech and language processing. Now, there are some differences between these fields, but all of them have a large overlap and they tend to use the same methods. Here I'm showing you some everyday applications of natural language processing. Voice assistant, smart compose, semantic search, translation are all examples of natural language processing applications. Also, you will often see natural language processing in news. And here I have listed some news articles related to the field. At this point, you might be wondering, what's the big deal? For humans, it seems fairly easy to understand natural language. So why it is so hard for computers? Natural language processing is hard because language is complex and subtle, and it is ambiguous at many different levels. Language understanding involves common sense knowledge and real world reasoning, and all the problems related to representation and reasoning in artificial intelligence arise in this domain. In the Panini example we saw before, for instance, there was lexical ambiguity and we needed some common sense knowledge to resolve this lexical ambiguity. Here I'm showing you another example of ambiguity. Consider this sentence, if the baby does not thrive on raw milk, boil it. And the ambiguity here is whether the pronoun it refers to baby or milk. And again, with our common sense knowledge, we know that we don't really boil babies, but we boil milk. And so it is likely that this pronoun it refers to milk and not baby. Just for fun, I'm showing you some ambiguous news headlines. The first one is prostitutes appeal to Pope. And the ambiguity here is appeal to means make a serious or urgent request or be attractive or interesting. And of course, in this context, the first interpretation is the correct one. Second one is kicking baby considered to be healthy. And the ambiguity here is whether kicking is used as an adjective or a verb. And the third one is milk drinkers are turning to powder. And the ambiguity is whether turning means becoming or taking up. So again, in all these cases, we use our common sense knowledge to resolve these ambiguities. If you want more entertainment, I have linked more news headlines here. They are quite funny. <laughs> so the overall point is that building models for language understanding is quite tricky as it involves common sense knowledge and real world reasoning. Because natural language is so central to how we interact with technology, there is quite a lot of natural language processing data available out there. 
and a number of companies work in this domain. Here I'm showing you some examples.